recipe for the little pastry puffs, which by the way, you can make ahead and freeze and just reheat in the oven. So they're a great thing to have on hand in your freezer. Um, it's just one cup of water, three quarters of a stick of butter, and a half a teaspoon of salt. You throw that in a pot when it comes to a low rolling boil, like this. Add one cup of AP flour, just all purpose flour. Stir that until it turns into a ball, which happens almost instantly, and it pulls away from the side of the pot. So one cup water, one cup flour, three quarters of a stick of butter, a little salt, you're done. Then you take this mixture, this ball, drop it down into your stand mixer with a paddle attachment. Take four large eggs, crack them and drop them into a separate dish because you're gonna add them one at a time. Wanna know a little funny by the by? They gave me hard boiled eggs. you're awesome or that that really sucked for me. I don't know. Did you see how slick I was though? I was trying to like, oh, they gave me one hard boiled one. I'll just try another, shall I? Yeah, fine. Maybe I won't tell you how to make the rest of the cheese puff. Anyway, that was a good one. I can't believe I just let you get me already. Now I'm really paranoid about the whole rest of the show. Dang, my staff is good at stuff like that. Okay, so you turn the mixer on a low speed and add one egg at a time and let this cool in between each addition of egg. If you put the, the bowl that comes with your mixer on, the metal bowl, you can literally tell by just putting your, the palm of your hand up against the side of the bowl when it's cooled down enough to add the next egg and so on and so forth. For time's sake, I'm just gonna sort of skip ahead here. You put in one at a time, let that egg go until it's fully incorporated. And then that's your base recipe. You can use that to make little eclairs, large or small, or little profiteroles. If you add a little bit of cheese and herb, it becomes the delicious gougere, which is a fabulous snack. And I love to put them as sort of a lighter topping on French onion soup. You put the little gruyere cheese puffs up on a bowl of French onion soup or a cup of French onion soup as a starter, delicious and a little bit easier to eat than fishing around the giant, like, three-inch thick crouton. So for the cheese, I love Gruyere. And you need about a cup of Gruyere for a couple dozen of your Gruyere. And you just grate it on a box grater. I will warn you that it is delicious and nutty and addictive, so you may want to grate a half a cup more than you need because you'll probably snack on just that much of it. Um, when this is nice and cool, and again, I'm forcing this along just a little bit, you're gonna throw in that cheese, and then any mixture of herbs you like. You can do something as simple as grassy parsley. You do a little parsley and lemon zest. In this case, we've got rosemary, thyme, and parsley. Um, and let that combine. Then you're gonna throw it into a plastic food storage bag, which is gonna become your pastry bag, and you can use it straight away or pop it in the fridge to chill. When you go to cook them off the first time, anchor your parchment paper with a little blob of dough in each of the four corners to hold that parchment in place. And then you just make the shape you'd like to see. These are little puffs. So you just do a little blob, a little circle. Keep a bowl of water next to you so you can just pat it down so they come out nice and even. But if I was making a little eclair, I'd make a little tube shape if you wanted a mini eclair or large tube shape if you want a big giant size eclair. My mom, you, you could always tell how upset my mother was by how many eclairs she'd go to the bakery and get. If it was a two eclair incident, you were going to die when she was done eating the eclairs. And I actually learned how to um, make uh, little cream puffs for the first time for my mom for Mother's Day a few years back and they're so easy, I sort of kick myself that it didn't become a habit much sooner in life. So you just pop these down, giving a little bit of space in between each. They will puff a little bit as you cook them. Pop them into 400 degree oven, and when they start to get little beads of sweat up on top, that means they're just about perfect. When the sweat pops away, take them out, they're gonna look like this. The smell will drive you crazy. God bless you. Somebody a little sneeze. Oh, they're so cute. 
Look at them. Look how cute the babies are. Oh, they smell even better.